One afternoon, during my early months at the ashram, I found Sri Yukteswar's eyes fixed on me piercingly. You are too thin, Mukunda. His remark struck a sensitive point, that my sunken eyes and emaciated appearance were far from my liking, was testified to by rows of tonics in my room at Calcutta. Nothing availed. Chronic dyspepsia had pursued me since childhood. My despair reached, reached an occasional zenith when I asked myself if it were worth while to carry on this life with a body so unsound. Medicines have limitations. The creative life force has none. Believe that, you shall be well and strong. Sri Yukteswar's words aroused a conviction of personally applicable truth which no other healer, and I had tried many, had been able to summon within me. Day by day, behold, I waxed. Two weeks after Master's hidden blessing, I had accumulated the invigorating weight which el eluded me in the past. My persistent stomach ailments vanished with a lifelong permanency. On later occasions I witnessed my guru's instantaneous divine healings of persons suffering from ominous disease, tuberculosis, diabetes, epilepsy, or paralysis. Not one could have been more grateful for his cure than I was at sudden freedom from my cadaverous aspect.